Hi, today I'm going to be talking to you about using penetrating oils on your scalp before you wash your hair. So if you want to see how I do it, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, step one, what you're going to do is you're going to remove any pins or clips, of course, that you have in your hair. Make sure you get them all out because you don't want to rip your hair. And you're going to remove any shed hair. And what I do is I start here and I just gently stroke like this. I pull all the way to the end and take out any loose hair that might be there. So I don't have that much coming out. I do have some. Not very much, but I do have some coming out. And you should have some shed hair coming out. So you wanna do that until you get all of it out, as much of it out as you can. And the reason is because you don't want it to uh, mingle with your other hair and start making uh, single strand knots or fairy knots <laughs> as it's called in the natural hair community so you want to make sure you get all of that out as much as possible and don't forget that if you're wearing any jewelry to take it off if you've got uh, high raised rings or prongs on your jewelry make sure you take it out so it doesn't rip your hair out and that's step one Step number two, scalp massages. You wanna get that blood flowing, you're gonna need your fingers, fingertips. Don't scratch your scalp. You don't wanna damage your hair follicles. So you're gonna use the pads of your fingers and you're just gonna massage like that. But you're gonna do it all over. And you need to do this for two to three minutes or however long you can't overdose on a scalp massage. I don't think. So you're gonna do this, massage your scalp, get the blood flowing. Some people use the invert message with, uh, method, sorry, where they might lay on their bed or lay on their sofa and hang their head over toward the floor for, you know, two or three minutes. You don't do it too long, you don't pass out. <laughs> and let the blood get into their uh, scalp that way. I just do this, scalp massages. just for a few minutes. It's to wake your, wake your skin up underneath all those old oils and stuff. My hair hasn't been washed in about a week, so I try to wash it once a week. And as you can see also, you can still see the relaxed ends here. Uh, but my natural hair is, you'll see, you can see the strings but you could see if I cut it I'd have to cut it to about right here I'm not ready to do that yet anyway go ahead and massage that scalp make sure you have a towel by nearby to a small hand towel so step three Okay, so in step three, you're going to um, take your hair. Now, if you have combs like this, you can use this if you want to. Uh, what I do is I just part anywhere. I use my fingers and I part anywhere. This is a mixture of peppermint oil, olive oil, and spearmint oil that I have in this uh, little spray bottle here that I've melted. Huh. Anyway, um, this is mostly olive oil, but it has about um, 10 drops of peppermint oil and five or six drops of spearmint oil that I have to refresh it every now and then because those essential oils don't hold their potency very long. So anyhow, you wanna make sure it's gonna be effective. 
So what I do is um, I just part my hair anywhere and I use my little spray bottle. If you don't have a spray bottle, you can always just drop a couple of drops on your fingers uh, in a mixture with a little bowl and rub it into your scalp the way I showed you how to massage your scalp a few minutes ago. So this is how I do it. I just, you know, just part your hair with your fingers. If you want to use a wide tooth comb to part your hair, you can do that as well. And then you're just going to massage it into your scalp. And if you have trouble areas uh, in your scalp where maybe your hair is, is thin, you know, not as thick as you want it to be, or for some reason it's breaking, you want to concentrate on that, that area. And you're just going to massage it in. You're not scratching. Remember, you're not scratching. You're just doing this. Your scalp should be moving like this when you massage, okay? Moving like that. If you notice, I'm not scratching. I'm just moving. I'm rocking my the scalp back and forth and in circles like that. And like I said, you concentrate in areas where you feel like maybe you've had itchy scalp or something like that. Uh, so you want to make sure that you concentrate in areas like that. You can also use tea tree if you're having problems with dandruff or something like that. Um, you can put tea tree in there in your essential oil. Don't use it by itself. Don't use any of these by themselves. You need carrier oils because uh, they can be very strong and they can cause a lot of scalp irritation. And you should start smelling peppermint and spearmint and all that pretty quick. Okay. And you'll go back, see if there's any more shed hair. Looks like I have a couple of more pieces here. Get your towel. And then you're going to move to uh, step four. Okay, so just pull your hair back. Put on this plastic cap. And if you want to help keep the heat in because it is going to get warm, I have this little doodad here. It actually came this way. Um, and I just put on. Tie it into place. There you go. So that's what you do, that's what I do, if I'm going to uh, pre puggeray to wash my hair and uh, I want to stimulate my blood circulation and all that with some essential oils. So anyhow, that's my procedure. Let me know what your procedure is. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Please subscribe to this channel and refer it to your friends. And thanks for coming by. I'll see you next time.